for, oh, eating pussy is beta and eating pussy is, is uh, you know, has too many germs. Okay, then, then go jerk off in your basement. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today we're gonna to talk about eating pussy, going down on a woman. Is that beta? Is that gross? Are you supplicating? Hey, lots of weird ideas and, and uh, viewpoints flying around in the community or manosphere or even the world in general. Okay, so I'm gonna discuss what each of these things are and go over what I see as the proper viewpoint. Okay, before we continue, if you're new to the channel and not yet a subscriber, please press the subscribe button, press the notification bell. There are new videos every single day around 2 p.m. Eastern time. This channel offers straightforward, no bullshit, practical dating advice to get you very good at the game and getting lots of hot girls very quickly. Okay, also if you want my entire solution, I have a product link in the description. You can click on my system or in the pinned comment. That goes over my entire system or you can work with me directly for eight weeks, okay, where we meet four times a week on calls and we go through in my mentorship exactly how to master the entire game very quickly. Okay, you can jump on a free 30 minute call, link in the description for that. So, going down on a woman. First of all, there are other dating coaches that I think are retarded that say that, oh, going down on a woman is beta. Okay, that's fucking stupid. Imagine if a, if a girl was like, oh, giving a man a blowjob is, is beta or supplicating. No, the girl is fucking going down on the guy, giving blowjobs, giving head, etc. It's only natural to fucking do it back for her. Okay, I'm not saying just for equality's sake, but it's part of the sexual experience. Okay, it's like, a, it's like omitting like an important sexual position. If you're like, I'm never doing doggy style because the woman isn't even looking at me and that's beta. It's just stupid, okay? So you should get good with your tongue and I'm gonna have an instructional technique video about eating pussy Okay, in a separate video. That's not the topic of this video. This is just kind of to explore the whole idea that it's beta or, or stupid or that you shouldn't do it. Okay. My belief is that you should give the girl an optimal sexual experience. Okay. And the first time that you guys hook up, you should strive to give her the best sex of her life, the best sexual experience of her life. That entails fucking her really good in a whole bunch of different positions. Okay. Having very good skills with your fingers, with your tongue, with your sex moves, okay, the way that you fuck her, the way that you, you know, the way that you can do like light choking, you can do like fucking pulling her hair, you can talk dirty, all these things add into giving her an amazing sexual experience, okay? And I'm gonna have uh, linked at the end of this video, I have a video that goes through how to hit the G-spots in all the major positions, and that's extremely good. And we've had virgins watch that video that have been in my, my uh, mentorship program, and get feedback on their first time ever having sex that, oh wow, that was the best sex of my life. Or wow, I didn't know people could be that good at sex. And this is literally the first time that different ones of these guys are having sex. And how did they get their sex game up extremely, extremely good? By watching that 30 minute video, okay? So it turns out that not only can your sex game get extremely good extremely fast, even if you've never had sex before, but it's the same for your game skill, okay? I can teach you the exact text to send in order to convert your phone numbers and dates, exactly how to run the structure of your date, how to run the structure of closing at the house, how to retain the girl, what frames to set, what things to do, how to optimally run your cold approach so that you can bring girls home with the best chances and also be able to collect lots of phone numbers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you don't need a thousand nights out. You don't need a thousand approaches. You don't need months or years of practice with the game. I can get you very good in a matter of a week or two. Okay? And the same thing goes with your sexual techniques. You don't need a lifetime of practice or tons of partners or, or tons of repetitions of having sex. You can outperform 99% of the people having sex just by learning what the optimal moves are and how to hit the G-spots in all these different positions, okay? So number one, I wanna make the point that yes, you should be eating pussy, it's just another part of the sexual experience when you hook up with a girl and you should be able to be very good at it, okay? So they'll have another video devoted towards being very good at that. But there's other fucking shit flying around. How, and number two, let me, let me just make the second point. It's not fucking beta, it's not supplicating. I, I know guys that are like too cool, they're like, oh, I'm never gonna run on a girl, that's, you know, I'm the man, et cetera, et cetera. I know tons of hot girls, I bang tons of hot girls, and they fucking love when a guy is good with his tongue, okay? It's, it's just like if, if 
you know, a man enjoying a blowjob. If, if the girl's like, I refuse to give blowjobs, I'm not that kind of girl. That, that's like it's part of the sexual experience is missing, okay? So rather than just say, oh, I'm not doing that because it's beta, trying to be the cool guy, get good at the technique and, and use that as one part of your arsenal, of your repertoire of sexual techniques, okay? There's other theories going around. Uh, this one was championed by Chris Wilde a form of Social Prime, which went down in flames because it was a steaming pile of shit company. He said, oh, well, that's too many germs. Okay, I don't want to get germs. Okay, and this was even pre-COVID he was talking like this. Oh, I don't want to lick a girl's vagina. There's too many germs down there. Okay, that sounds like a fucking full-blown, you know, words I can't use on YouTube. If you think that there's too many germs and all this stuff, then maybe, you know, you don't even belong in having sex with women. Okay, if, you, if that is your mindset. You know, what the fuck is that? All right, and <laughs> what germs are being exchanged when, when you're, you know, exchanging bodily fluids, you know, or she's giving you a blowjob. Of course there's germs, who fucking cares? You're having sex, okay? <clears throat> so I just wanted to address this. There's, there's too much shit going on out there. There's so many bad mindsets out there about how, oh, you should never ever buy a woman a drink, okay? And yes, you should, okay? If you isolate a girl to the bar, in a nightclub, you should buy her a drink. If you take her on a date, you should buy her a drink. That doesn't make you a beta, that doesn't make you a simp. All these notions of what makes a guy beta, or what makes a guy a simp, are posited by stupid retards like Rolo Tomasi or like RSD Tyler, or, you know, guys that aren't banging hot chicks, guys that, guys that aren't even banging lots of chicks, okay, and have no fucking clue how to bang lots of hot girls or, or date lots of hot girls at once. No fucking clue. Yet they're gonna put out these mantras and make all these videos and do super chats. And then all these guys that are impressionable walk around, okay, uh, so I can never pay for a girl's dinner or pay for a girl's drink. Uh, I can never call a girl an Uber. And then they just fucking lose out on all these opportunities, okay? When you don't call that girl the Uber to come over, oh, guess what, she can't get to your house and now you're not gonna bang her. Okay? When you isolate the girl and she's ready to go home with you, but then you're like, oh, you pay for your own drink. Good job, you just blew out the set, okay? When, when you think that uh, you can't double text because it's you, you need to play it cool and be the cool guy. I double and triple text all the fucking time. It's just a matter of which frame it comes from and in what manner you're doing it, okay? And, and the guys are like, oh, I can never double and triple text. Okay, now you're stalemating tons of your text interactions because she got busy and distracted and maybe she was interested. In a lot of cases, she probably was. And since you're being the cool guy, now the lead has eroded and gone cold. Congratulations. Keep listening to those guys that put forth all these mantras. It's the same goes for, oh, eating pussy is beta and eating pussy is, is uh, you know, has too many germs. Okay, then, then go jerk off in your basement, okay? <laughs> It's hilarious. I see in the YouTube comments, you count your lays, you're a simp, okay? Oh, okay, 1,372 girls, I'm a simp. All the best guys I know are counting their lays. I guess they're all simps too. All the guys that are fucking destroying women, they're all simps. All the guys that have no, that have no idea how to get hot women, they know you know, what, what it's like to be a simp, and they're not being like that, and they're jerking off in their fucking basement. Oh, you let girls live with you? Like one of, one of Rolo's like iron rules of Tomasi, which I'm gonna fucking destroy. I'm gonna go through some technical analyses of these idiots' game and principles. Never cohabitate with a woman. Shut the fuck up, okay? I have three hot girls living here. It's awesome. And other hot girls on the side. It's awesome, okay? And, and anyone would love to be in that position. It's just that guys try to cling to these things. Oh, you, you must be beta because you're counting lays. You must be beta because you live with girls. Okay, you must be beta because you make videos hating on other men. You're, that's, that's my favorite one. Yeah, don't call out a clown for being a clown. Keep your mouth shut, right? Because if you call out another man, like a man should, for ripping off a ton of people or, or putting on a full facade and lying his ass off, okay? That makes you a, that makes you a simp as well. So. You know, not that I give two fucks what any of these people say. The, the, the point I'm trying to make is that if you guys fall into these stupid traps of these mantras that are put out there by people that aren't getting laid with hot chicks, then you're gonna have the wrong perception, perceptions about things like going down on a girl, which can be a very nice addition to your sexual skill set. Okay, so check out the positions video that I have that I'll link to in the end screen of this video here. I will also link it in the description that will really skyrocket your sex game overnight. It's only a half hour long. I suggest watching it multiple times. And I will have a follow-up video where I go over the techniques of going down on a girl, okay? If you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below, press the notification bell. And if you'd like to master the whole game, 
and have it all suddenly be very easy and be 10 steps ahead and know exactly what to do, what to say, and how to move things forward with any girl you see for the rest of your life in person or on the online apps. Jump on a free 30 minute call. I'll show you how I can get you there very quickly. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I'm John Anthony, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active, while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.